we're putting good vibes into 2023. Get the bad, bad vibes out, good vibes in. I'm gonna start that by hauling books and unhauling books. I will link my Pango, Pango, is that what it's called? I think it's called Pango, Pango books down below. That's where I sell my books. I have a big mic now and a stand to hold it on. So I have my hands in free, my hands are free. I can express with my hands. Though I do like the little mics, I probably will still use it in the future, especially if I'm not liking the quality of this audio. You can now see it. Crap. <laughs> I didn't even introduce myself. Hi, I'm Chloe. I've never done a haul before, so this is weird. Let's start with this. I talked about this in my November blog, but technically it's still a haul. This is Better Than Fiction by Alexa Martin. Honestly, I don't know much about these because I don't like knowing synopsis. It looked really cute and it was... Barnes & Noble's buy one get one 50% off day. This is the one I picked up. This, there wasn't anything actually on sale that I really wanted, but this one looked really cute and so I bought it. Next book I was a pre-order that arrived and that was my Chain of Gold Barnes & Noble exclusive um, pre-order. Look how pretty this book is, okay? I love Chain of Gold. This one is just so, so pretty. The next three books I have are from uh, my subscription box, so this is Fairy Loot, November and December. So the first one is Veronica Ross Poster Girl. This is the adult box one. I'm actually going to be unhauling this already. I have no interest in this book and so as soon as I got it I was like yeah I'm selling that one because just not interested. So this will be in my unhaul as well as my haul. This was the October adult book and then this is the November adult book. Aria Blood. This I've been looking at forever. I've heard so many t people say about how, like, talk about how good this book is. And this is a stunning edition. I can't wait to read this one. This is a vampire book, so can't wait for this one. The young adult book for, I think this was the December book, was The Ones We Burn by Rebecca Mix. And this edition I actually flipped because I liked how the inside jacket looked more than the outside jacket, but... It has the foil too, and that is the original cover, but the black and white one is just so pretty, so I had to do it. This is the Fairy Loot December Adult book. This is Encyclopedia of Fairies by Amberly Wilds. I was actually going to cancel it, and like I'd, I wasn't interested in this one at all, and then it arrived, <laughs> and just look how pretty the inside pages are. Like... It's, oh, look at that. I'm now a lot more excited about this book, so. For two years in a row now, Barnes & Noble has done the 50% off hardcover day after Christmas, for two days after Christmas. They, every hard book of theirs is half off, as well as some like board games and toys and other stuff like that. So of course I went and I picked up five books. The first one is this Barnes & Noble edition of The Great Gatsby, as well as like five other of uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald's work. I think like This Side of Paradise, The Beautiful and the Damned, Tales of the Jazz Age. There's other books in here because Great Gatsby is definitely not this thick. Great Gatsby is one of my all-time favorite books, but I uh, like never have owned a copy of it. So every time I was at Barnes & Noble, I was looking at these really pretty editions of it and like I really want it, but I can't justify spending $25 on this and um, it was only $12. So of course I picked it up because how could you not? I want to collect all of these. I just want all of these pretty leather bound editions. The second book I bought for the 50% off sale was Defend the Dawn. This is the second in Defy the Night. I haven't read it yet. I think I'm gonna like it though. So I'm like, I might as well get the second one of the series when I already own the first one. One that's half off and in hardcover. And it's the exclusive edition. So I got this for like $10, which is insane. When the Barnes and Noble sales happens, it's always like me picking up books that like I always go there. I'm like, I'm gonna buy that someday. Oh, I need to get that book, but not today. That's what this like <sighs> sale is for me. So I also picked up Saint, which I have been wanting to buy for a while, but like I've been wanting to buy since it came out, but I just like was like, no, I don't need it right now so I can wait. But now it was $10. Another sequel I got was These Twisted Bonds. I have two editions of this first book and I know I'm gonna read this soon. This is one of my soon-to-be-read fantasy series, and so I just got the second one 
again because it was half off and I was like, might as well. Also got another sequel. This is a new Avatar book and I actually haven't read the first two yet, but I have them on Audible and this was a signed first edition and it was half off. So I got this one as well. Now we're going to get into books that were gifted to me, starting with Lake's Edge. So this was a gift from one of my bookstagram besties. Marilyn, thank you so much. Uh, she's like one of my best friends on bookstagram. I love her so much. She has a book coming out January 7th. This is Heartstopper Volume 3. After I put out my um, book tour video, my friend sent me Heartstopper Volume 3. So thank you. And then I was sent They Both Die at the End by Adam Severa. Um, this is from Joanna, or Books by Joe, XO Joe here on YouTube, but, um, she literally told me, now we both have to cry together, she's gonna make me cry with her, I will read this, I've heard so many things about They Both Die at the End, so, I've heard really good things about this series, and I know the second one or something, or the prequel just came out, something like that, um, I will read this, and yes, I will probably cry, thank you. This was a gift from my mom. This is the whole collection of Ramona and Beezus and Henry. I haven't read the Henry ones. Um, the World of Beverly Cleary collection, this is what this is. So these were my, like, childhood books. I read these when I was young. These are, like, my original copies of it, so they've changed the covers since then, but I didn't own all of them, and I really wanted to own all of them. Look how cute. I'm probably gonna unhaul these though because I have the new ones now, but like these covers are so much cuter than the old covers, than the new covers. My mom bought me the whole collection of Beverly Cleary so I can reread them and live my childhood again. I don't know if I honestly want to do that. I remember loving these and like these were my favorite, but thank you, mama. These are like my childhood books and I'm happy to actually just own them even if I don't read them. I, I have them now and that makes me happy. Let's get to the unhaul portion because all these books need room on my shelf now. This is the unhauling portion. First one is That Dark Infinity. I got an arc for this. So I got like two arcs for it sent to me on accident and then the final copy sent to me and I was just like, I have three copies of this book. I don't need all of them. So I'm going through these fast. Uh, Smoke in the Sun, I bought this because it was written by Ren Renee Adier and I really liked her writing. I don't think I'm ever gonna read it. I'm gonna do these two together next, but you'll be the death of me and the girl goals. Guide for Murder. I'm not really into the high school drama contemporary. I, I really, every time I pick up a book in this kind of genre, I always end up being bored and not liking it. Um, so I'm just, I've had these on my shelves because people say they're good, but I'm just done. I don't, they're, I'm never going to reach for them, so away they go. Another book that fits that kind of category is All Your Twisted Secrets. This is another high school mystery one. I just don't care about high school students. I'm sorry. I don't care about this high school contemporary thing that's really popular. Um, so this one's also going out. I'll do this stack real quick. So this is my Ramona and Beezus stack. 
Um, I did just haul in all the Ramona and Beezus books, so I don't need these ones anymore. Though I did write in these ones, so I don't know how I'm getting rid of them. But it is also two books I just have duplicates of, so, which is Steep and Gold. I have the Fairy Loot edition, so I don't need this edition. And then Ventor Ventors by Devry Walls. Uh, I have multiple copies of this as well. We are okay, I've always kept this on my shelf because it's super tiny, and I'm like, I could just read that really quick, and I might love it, but... Every time I've tried to pick it up, I've just not been interested and been bored, so it's just time to get rid of it. Spoiler alert, was really, really cute. I don't think I'm ever going to reread it, though, so I think it can go someone else who will also love it. Then, good. that's a good thing, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Not that it was bad. I actually really enjoyed this book. I'm just never going to reread it, so away it goes. Same with Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. I'm just through contemporary books right now. I just really don't want to read contemporary and I've read this one, I loved this one, but I'm never going to reread it. Uh, Blood Rose Rebellion, I've had this on my shelf for literal years, and I've never reached towards it, and it just doesn't sound that interesting to me anymore, so away it goes. Something Strange and Deadly by Susan Dennard, I read the Truth With series, and I really loved it by her, and I was like, I have to get her other series, so I bought it, and I'm just never going to read it. And I'm like falling off that Susan Dennard train, I'm not in love with her writing as much as I used to be, so away this goes. I have some more contemporaries I'm just not interested in anymore. Harris apparently. Fangirl I have read. Not a big fan of Rainbow Rowell anymore. Uh, this was like one of the first contemporary books I ever read and I did love it actually. This was like one of the first books I like just picked up on a shelf without knowing anything about it and just read and I liked it. Um, but I'm never gonna reread it. I kind of have some issues with Rainbow Rowell now so like Never gonna reread it, and never- I already sold all her other books I have of hers, so I might as well just get rid of this one, too. His Light and the Happily Ever After, I read Anna and the French Kiss, and I really liked it, so I bought this one, and I was trying to find the second one somewhere. Um, never gonna read these. Never. I'm just not in this kind of- I don't like this type of writing it, or- I don't like these kind of books anymore, so, like, that's just to someone- now they can go to someone who does like these kind of books. These two- I'm contemplating unhauling almost ever since I got them, and that's Ever the Brave, Ever the Brave and Ever the Hunted. These, I have a really hard time unhauling because I met the author and she assigned them to me. I got 50% of the way through this and had a DNF because I was just so, so bored, and I'm just, I was really bored by these, so I don't, I never reach for them. Every time I look at them, I'm like, I should probably unhaul them, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. Uh, books I've had on my shelves forever and never read, so The Queen's Rising, Frostblood, this one is also signed, so I feel bad for getting rid of it, but I had tried reading it, I got 54% of the way through and I had a DNF because I didn't like it. Honestly, this was honestly one of my favorite book looks I've ever done though, so, um, and then The Ravens, this is another, you know, college, high school student group of people and I'm just not interested in that kind of book anymore so though it does have witches in it so I almost got this one but like I'm not interested in college sorori sorori sororities or like high school clubs or like I'm just not interested in that kind of book. King of Battle and Blood I really 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 liked this first one actually but I just reread the second or I just the second one just came out and I read it and I despised the second one and so I'm just gonna get rid of the series I don't need it anymore and I'm not gonna be continuing on with it so Away it goes. Another one is Children of Virtue and Vengeance. Uh, I've never read it. I don't- I only own the second one. I don't own the first one. So if someday I ever read Children of Blood and Blown, Bone, which I might, um, I can just rebuy this one, but I don't need it on my shelf right now. Uh, Forgery of Roses. Uh, read this- I almost didn't get rid of this one, but I just- short stories are not for me. I like bigger books. I like bigger stories. I don't feel like much can be done in this amount of pages. I don't know. I haven't heard the greatest- the greatest things about it. I also haven't heard the worst things about it. I'm just not- I'm not gonna ever pick it up and read it, so I'm just- it's time to go. With The Dark Days Club, I've had this book on my shelf for literal, like, six or seven years now. Every time I pick it up, I'm just like, eh, maybe next time I'll read it, and I just never actually read it. Um, so away it goes. A lot of these have very similar reasons why I'm getting rid of them. This might- I might get a little bit of hate for this, but... Daughter of Smoke and Bone, um... These, this was one of the first series I bought myself, so it's literally been on my shelf for like eight years now, I think, and, um, I've tried to read this book about three times now, and it's, there's nothing interesting in the first half of this book for me to keep reading it, and I keep holding on to it, thinking someday I'll retry to reread this series, 
or just read this series, and I never do. I kept Lady Taylor's other books in the hopes I'll read those someday, but for now, <laughs> It's time for these to go. Okay, we're almost, we're almost done. These are all my fairy loot books that I'm getting rid of. I just, either I read them and I didn't like them, or I have no interest in reading them, so. Uh, Beast of Prey, this is the fairy loot edition, I believe. This was like an extra book they threw in, and I just have, reading the synopsis, I have no interest in it. With this, this is the fairy loot edition, and it's honestly really pretty. I almost didn't get rid of it because of how pretty it was. I mean, like, look at this. It's so pretty. Maybe I won't get rid of this one. The synopsis doesn't sound that great to me. That's why I might get rid of this one. I think I'm gonna get rid of it. I need to stop feeling so emotionally connected to my fairy loot books. The Prison Healer, I've read it, wasn't my favorite. I'm not gonna continue on with this series. Jade Fire Gold, this was in my top five fantasies I want to read, and I did read it in December, and it was nothing special, and I'm not gonna be continuing on with the series. I... I have no emotional connection to this book other than it's a fairy loot book and I feel like I have to hoard fairy loot books, but, um, not for me. Like, the concept was there. I really like the concept. I just did not care about the characters. It doesn't sound interesting to me. The cover is really pretty. Of course, it's really pretty because it's a fairy loot edition. Never gonna read it. These next books I won't talk much about, um, but I am unholding them, so, um, just know I used to love the series and I've been holding on to it because I used to love it but with all the stuff coming out and all the stuff that she said in the past two years I'm just done I'm done not even my nostalgia for this series can make me hold on to these so so bye to these I'm kind of sad because I was trying to collect these editions forever I think they're really pretty I'm not gonna be able to reread them so away they go all of them are new except for the third one I bought used and you can tell it's just it's time it's time to get rid of these I'm never gonna reread them I, like, literally hate these now. All my, like, positive feelings of the series are just hatred now. So, time to get rid of that bad energy on my shelf. So that is it. I made kind of a mess. It is now January 6th. So, I guess it's it's still the first week of January. We're good. We're fine. Um, some things have changed. So, some chaos has happened. Oh, I wanted to get a boba. The one lost to having acrylic nails. Surf chilled shake well before I didn't shake it. What am I a noob? Ah that noise is awful. Definitely not as good as fresh boba but like it's good. As you can tell it is quite a bit later. I might be wearing the same clothes. Um I have a whole nother bag of books. <laughs> also I chose to unhaul some more. The other ones I chose to unhaul were Black Canary and The Song of Achilles. I just, um, my boyfriend is currently reading this one and he said I'm probably not going to like it and I trust him. And The Song of Achilles I have read. I don't see what the hype is about. Um, this bag right here, however, is also going to be going on my Pango books. This is, oh, you can't even see it. It's huge. It's. This is a bag full of my boyfriend's books that he went through his bookshelf and chose a bunch of books to get rid of. Um, a lot of it is series. So, uh, we're gonna try to move her. I don't think it's gonna work, but we're gonna try. Oh my god. Where am I moving it to? Alright. Those bags are out of the way. Now it's time to do the cleaning part of this. And so basically, I'm going to dust on my shelves, wipe them down, and I'm taking all the prints off, and I'm going to replace them for 2023. I have a whole pile of new prints, and some prints I just haven't displayed in a while, and I want to. And it's just time. It's time to get rid of some of these prints. Not get rid of. I'm like, I'm keeping them. I love all the prints that are on my shelf, so uh, I'm just going to replace them for the new year. Paper towels. <laughs> cleaner, my boba, which got real close to a cleaner, but we don't care. While I dance around my room and clean my bookshelf, I thought I would just go over some of my reading goals for 2023. In general, I'm hoping to read 100 books again. Will it happen? Who knows? I'm also doing the 8 it through Z challenge, which is where you read a book starting with all the letters throughout the alphabet. 
I'm not counting rereads this time. In general, I'm hoping to do less rereads this year and get through my physical TBR. This also means going on a buying ban and skipping more of my subscriptions, so we'll see how that goes. I'm also doing the 12 books recommended by 12 friends challenge, and um, we're halfway through January at this point, and let me just say, these challenges are already not looking too, uh, too great, but we can be hopeful. aren't super new I just kind of changed where they were because I wasn't I went through all my prints and I just wasn't finding any new prints that I was like I need big prints a lot of my prints that I love are tiny and they don't look great hanging in the middle of a bookshelf when they're tiny but we're here we moved my crest up so crest is now next to the Lerner Chronicles I basically themed them better now my Thomas and Audrey Rose print next to Stalking Next Ripper my Kingdom of the Wicked print next to Kingdom of the Wicked this is Helen Sophie and then down here I put the big Rapunzel. These big Rapunzel ones are just hard to store and so it's easier just to keep them on the shelf. Over here, there's Jimin. Up here is Yor from Spy Family because my Spy Families are right here. And then Magnus and Alec because these are my Shadowhunter shelves. Delia, also next to Shadowhunter shelves. And then um, a Tom, another Thomas and Audrey Rose because they're my favorite. Thank you so much for watching this end of the, or what am I going to call this? Like letting the good vibes in, bad vibes out, unhaul and haul and kind of reorganizing my bookshelf, whatever this video ends up being. Thank you for watching it. Here are some cats. Look how cute. Here, don't take that one for Rosie. Take this one. Take this one. It's a shrimp. Girl, take this cat toy. And then this one. Is some ramen for the kitties. They both want the ramen though. Really? Why are you taking the ramen from her? I gave it to her. She was liking it. You want this one?